Unit elasticity calculation question. I'm struggling with a math concept dealing with unit elasticity at an undergraduate textbook level. In most problems, we are given a starting price and an ending price as well as corresponding quantities demanded. For example, when bread was dollar two dollars dollar a loaf, Bobby wanted dollar four dollar loaves. When bread prices raised to dollar two dollars and fifty cents, dollar Bobby wanted just dollar two dollar loaves. What is Bobby's price elasticity of demand? To calculate these, we say the percent change in price is dollar percent delta p equals frac two dollars and fifty cents to two dollars two dollars equals twenty five percent dollar. The percent change is measured relative to the starting price. Meanwhile, dollar percent delta q equals frac two to four four equals minus fifty percent dollar, making elasticity dollar minus two point zero dollar. However, I came across a problem where essentially it asked what is the elasticity for someone who wants to spend exactly dollar ten dollars dollar on gasoline. I first tried to think about this intuitively. If price doubles, she'll be able to get half as much quantity no matter the starting price, which seems like elasticity of dollar one dollar. However, I set it up algebraically. I get the following: dollar dollar q asterisk p equals ten implies q equals ten p dollar dollar. So I put in some random values of dollar p dollar. For example, dollar p underscore one equals two dollars dollar and dollar p underscore two equals two dollars and fifty cents dollar for dollar percent delta p equals frac two dollars and fifty cents to two dollars two dollars equals twenty five percent dollar. Meanwhile, for quantity we have dollar q underscore one equals frac ten two equals five dollar and dollar q underscore two equals frac ten two point five equals four dollar. So that dollar percent delta q equals frac four to five five equals minus twenty percent dollar, which isn't unit elastic. So I turned to calculus and did the following: dollar dollar q p equals frac ten p implies frac d q q. Frac p dp equals frac dq dp. Frac p frac ten p equals frac ten p squared asterisk frac p squared ten equals minus one dollar dollar, which is unit elasticity. Clearly, the discrepancy here is caused by the fact that the derivative has the starting quantity equals ending quantity since it's the same point. But should we be measuring percent change relative to starting price and quantity, or relative to starting price but ending quantity? Or does it depend? And why? You have to use the midpoint method to resolve this, if I recall correctly. HTTPS colon slash slash quickonomics.com slash how dash to dash calculate dash price dash elasticities dash using dash the dash midpoint dash formula slash. The reason I may not recall correctly is because the second you introduce calculus into the study of economics, you discard these formulae entirely and try to forget they ever existed. You seem to already know calculus, which is probably causing you to be even more confused rather than less, and understandably so. The primary purpose of these non-calculus formulations of elasticity is to teach you the intuition around what elasticity is as a concept. I definitely have strong opinions about how well it accomplishes that, smiley face. Edit, just wanted to add that, if indeed the problem is as you're saying it, come hell or high water, Billy is going to spend $10 and only $10 on gas, then your intuition is right, Billy has unit price elasticity of demand for gas, although in a kludgy sort of way. This is supported by your calculus-based analysis.